G'day, I'm Matt Davey. Today we're doing the fourth inspection on the hive that we're using opening the sides of the brood nest, or OSBN. And today we're adding a third box, which is going to be our super. So we've already got the two boxes for brood, and this will be our third box for honey. So we've opened the sides of the brood nest, we're wanting to have at least two frames per brood box that the bees are drawing out and working on. So we'll look and see how many frames are still left in this top box for them to work on. And um, for the other, the bottom brood box, we'll move a couple of frames from this new one um, into the bottom box just to make sure we've got those two frames down there as well. Ideally we want to move up at least three or four frames of honey into this new box. I find that it, you need at least three frames to have the bees really accept that box as part of their hive. Any less than that, um, they can ignore it if they're wanting to swarm and just empty it out. This is also a good time to put on the queen excluder if you have a heavy flow or you're wanting to stop the queen from moving up into your honey super. Full frames of honey can act as a queen excluder. So we'll put our full frames of honey in the, in the middle there and that'll help stop the queen from moving up into that third box. All right, so let's have a look now and um, we'll see what they've done. So it looks like we've got three frames here that they're still working on. You can see this one here. See those bees hanging down the bottom, they're actually drawing out the wax there as well. We'll use that frame for opening the sides of the brood nest. I've got this here which is a, um, a frame rest. So I'm just trying this out for the first time today. And we'll add that on the side here. And that just allows us to hang the frames on the side. I might shake these bees off first. Is quite tight there. This frame on the very end is a plastic foundation and they barely touch that. So I might move that up into the top box. Next frame across looks like it's entirely honey. We'll just have a look in here. That side's all honey. That side's all nectar. This would be an ideal frame to go up into our super because it's solid honey. So again, I'll shake the bees off from this. Wow, this next frame is solid brood. So a nice brood pattern there, very good. I'll just quickly go through these frames looking for any signs of interest in swarming. And you see that when you see quite a number of, of queen cups. Here's our OSBN frame. So there you can see our wedge shape of worker brood and then the drone brood below that in the corners. Again, more brood, quite a lot of drones. Because it's swarm season, then they really like to get a lot of drones in the population. And once 
the amount of drones that are up population they want, then they'll work on worker brood. So that's uh, now all nectar. So we've found the edge of our brood nest. This is where we'll be inserting the empty frame. Now this frame on the edge looks like it's barely drawn out, so I'll just pull that one out. Yeah. See down that bottom corner you've got wax makers. So what I'll do is I'll use this for inserting beside the brood nest. So with these you can actually grab two frames at once. And I'll just move that across. Then we'll insert this empty frame. And then move our brood frames over. Again we want to add an empty frame beside the brood nest, so I'll put this one so that's the one that's partially drawn beside our brood nest. In this box we have some drawn comb. So instead of foundation you could use drawn comb and just cut off the bottom corners like this. And I'll just fill up the rest of the space with drawn comb. And then we'll go down the bottom box and take out two honey frames on the on the edges there and replace those with um, more foundation partial foundation for them to draw out so there's a drawn comb we'll just put that in on the edges here and another one here I'll just grab these two partial foundations and put them on our frame holder. And move these frames up. Put this frame of honey up into the top box. foundation in our holder. Got a bit of a robbing frenzy going on at the moment, but anyway. I'll move this box over. Let's have a look at this partial frame that we put in last time. See what they've done to it. So we have some wax makers there still. So what I'm going to do is take out the outside frame that's full of honey. Alright, so yes, yeah, so we'll move that one up to the top box. Just have a look at this second frame in. A uh, couple of queen cups there, but they're all dry. I'll just put this one back in, and we'll put our frame of foundation in beside it. You can do that now because the weather's heating up. We'll see how it goes with getting that drawn out. So we'll look at the other side as well. 
This frame's looking like it's only just been drawn out now. And we've got some brood on one side. The other side's still getting drawn out. You can see that they're drawing out the space in the corners as a drone brood again. That's still getting worked on. So we'll place our foundation beside this on the outside as well. We'll see how well it gets drawn out. I'll just see if this frame has any brood on it. It looks like it's mostly honey. So that's all nectar in there. While we're here, just have a look at this frame. There's the brood on it. So that's a solid frame of brood. No queen cups or anything like that. And the one beside it all looks good as well. So full of brood. No signs of queen cups or interest in swarming. Let's put this back in. And then the frame of foundation. As I've said in previous videos, the frames of foundation on the outside of the box often don't get drawn out very well, but the inside edge um, usually gets drawn out and the outside edge not so much. I'll put the second brood box back on top of this and then we'll put our honey frames in the top box. Now let's put our honey frames in the top box. Got a bit of rubbing going on. This one as well. Let's clear some bees here so we can put the top box on. The next inspection we'll just be checking on what they're doing. Uh, check the brood boxes if they've drawn out much of the frames down there and if they've been emptying out the honey from the frames that we've moved up into the top box. But uh, we should be right now for the swarm season. Um, the main flows starts in about two weeks time. So they've got plenty of room um, to move and store all that incoming nectar for the main honey flow. All right, happy beekeeping.